Tasmanian commercial rock lobster fishermen have been hit hard in the past few years and the industry has lost millions of dollars in revenue. Record low catches and trade problems are taking their toll. Fishermen have gathered in Launceston to discuss the challenges facing their industry. With their catches of the lucrative delicacy in decline, rock lobster fishermen have been crippled by a trade halt with China that's cost them millions of dollars in the past year. I reckon we'd be down at least a third on what we normally turn over as far as, as value goes. Now commercial operators are facing new state government restrictions. A draft management plan proposes a maximum size limit on the state's east coast as a way to curb the invasion of sea urchins. In this whole debate about a maximum size limit is that there are other ways of getting the same result with a lot less anguish to the, the participants in the fishery. They're demanding more scientific proof that the larger lobsters will help eradicate the pests. The science to us is, is just not robust enough and we've, we're starting to get sick of banging our head against the wall. The government plan also includes a reduction in the total allowable catch. We're interested in putting a management framework in place that will ensure that rock lobster fishermen have viable businesses going forward you know, into the long term. That includes looking at ways to boost fish numbers. One is to move them from places where they grow slowly to areas of high growth rates. You've got more productive animals and that just means that the fisher is a whole benefit. So you have higher catch rates, uh, greater profitability of the industry, also better egg production. As the damaging trade dispute continues, a group will go to China later this month to try to negotiate a trade deal for Tasmanian fishermen. Damien McIntyre, ABC News.